seven to six. Nalin Mehta is with us. Radhika Ram Sishan is with us. Akshay Marathi of the Amadmi Party also with us. Namaste, Jayin, and good morning to everybody. Nalin Mehta, on expected lines, or is the Amadmi Party's performance, the amount that they've pinched, and also the regions where they have pinched so from the Congress? Time. Is that coming as a surprise? It looks like a lot of tribal votes have moved en masse away from the Congress into the into the Amadmi Party. Uh, yes, uh, absolutely, Anand. I don't think it's a surprise. I think Congress voters uh, have been very apathetic at the mm. fact that the Congress has essentially disappeared as an organization in Gujarat in the last five years, despite having run the BJP close last time. The AAP uh, came across as somebody that can challenge the BJP to the traditional anti-BJP vote in Gujarat, which, was a, which has been a sizable vote historically. Now look at the numbers on the tribal belt. Um, in the tribal belt, uh, uh, the AAP and the Congress are neck and neck, with the BJP winning the majority of the seats in the, in the tribal belt as of, as of this moment, mm. but AAP and Congress neck and neck. If you look at the rural regions of Gujarat, yeah. um, also in the rural regions, the, the BJP is sweeping, but the Congress and the AAP are neck and neck. What it means, if you look at the vote share numbers, because the seat shares will change as we go forward, yeah. the election commission currently is showing, and this is an important point, the BJP at 53.9% of the vote, vote share, share, right? And the Congress at 23%, mm. 28%, I'm sorry, uh, and the AAP at around 13.5%. What this means is, you know, before the this poll, a lot of people were saying mm. that the BJP will win essentially because the opposition vote will get split between Congress and BJP uh, and the mm. AAP. Mm. What's happening on the ground is that the BJP's vote share has actually increased mm. from last time. Yes. Last time it was 49% instead yeah. of declining, it's increased to 50, uh, 50 plus 53%. Four percent we, and if this trend persists, then it's going to be the highest vote share ever in the history of Gujarat. But the opposition vote has got split with the Congress maintaining a, uh, a, you know, a 20, 28% kind of thing and the AAP getting a 13-14% a chunk. So, so which means that instead of the opposition vote increasing, it's hmm. decreased. The, so uh, the, the BJP vote has decreased vote, and the opposition vote has got split. Yes, so the opposition vote gets split between the two parties, that is the Congress. But Congress at its worst ever till now. Radhika, 28-29, below 30 is what they are looking at. I mean, this classically Gujarat represents a very strong pro-incumbency election. There is no question. I mean, we were talking about the divided opposition votes. That is a very tiny strand in the whole narrative, you know. I mean, even if there was no ARP, the Congress's position, uh, uh, performance would have been as disastrous as your leads are showing. Mm. Because it was marked by apathy. It was marked by disinterest. And it was marked by complete lethargy. You know, if uh, Congress is has, is picking up, say, 20-odd seats, it's because of the individual candidates. No thanks to the AICC, because a common complaint one heard across the regions is that Gujarat has become the AICC's stepchild. And I wonder why. I mean, they, any other party would have built up on its pre pretty impressive performance in hmm. 2017. Here, the Congress just frittered away whatever gains it had made five years ago. And Advaita, so, I mean, I am yes. not at all surprised. You know, and the, and the point that Anand keeps making, 20. that it would have been easier perhaps for the Congress to move up from 77 7 to 92, the halfway mark, than the BJP, which has gone up from 99 to 135 and perhaps marching ahead further. Advaita, the, the Ahmadmi Party numbers are coming not just from Saurashtra, but from other parts as well. We were looking at it as more of an urban phenomena, perhaps, because of Surat municipal elections, where they won 20. This time around, it looks like in several parts of Gujarat. Zaka, let's take that. Yeah, from the in southern Gujarat, in some of the uh, ST-dominated seats, from Vyara, ST seat, the AAP candidate is leading, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, you have the neighboring seat of Manvi, again, ST reserve seat. Uh, Sa uh, Saina Ben Gamit of the Amadmi Party is leading. Uh, for, uh, Chetra Bhai Vasava of Didia Pada, ST seat, again, tribal uh, reserve seat, the Amadmi Party seems to be leading. Even in the northern part of the state, in Banaskanta, Savarkanta, in Limkheda, the ST uh, reserve seat, uh, and I had heard about this candidate, uh, Baria, Naresh Bhai Baria, he's leading there. And you have uh, from uh, from Jalod, again, ST reserve seat, Anil Bhai Somabai Garasia leading. So both in the north tribal districts and in the south tribal districts, uh, at least in some of them, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, six seats where the Amadmi party 
These are seats that the Congress would have won normally. The tribal voter was with the Congress. These seats, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party seems to be pinching the Congress. So is that a trend that you're watching out for, Advaita?